Hey guys, welcome back to Shalu's Artistry. Today we are going to see how to get rid of the caterpillars that is destroying your garden. It's been a week I bought these plants and I've already started noticing that there are some holes on the leaves and the flowers are also eaten up by something. By seeing the black pellets, I guessed that it could be a caterpillar. And as I guessed, it is a caterpillar. So let's get to know what we are dealing with. These worms are caterpillars that would become moths and butterflies in future and they are going to be active pollinators. But right now they are in the form of a worm or a caterpillar and obviously they are a pest in the garden. So there comes a confusion whether to eliminate it or to save it. In case you don't want to harm it anyway, simply change its habitat. This will reduce the number of caterpillars eventually. Now let's see how to find if there is any caterpillar in the garden. Firstly, you'll notice lot of holes on the leaves. Especially some leaves will be eaten completely. Not only the leaves, even the flowers will be eaten up. Secondly, you will be noticing a lot of black color pellets around the plant. You can also notice it on the leaves. These are nothing but the worm excretion. Next, you'll also notice that some of the leaves will be folded up. You can find caterpillar on the underside of these leaves. The main reason why caterpillars are considered as a headache is that it can damage a whole lot of plant before becoming butterflies, especially since it's fast moving and it eats a lot. It can move from one place to another and it can damage the entire garden. These caterpillars also love cauliflowers, broccoli, tomatoes, flowers and all sort of citrus varieties. Now let's see some easy methods to get rid of caterpillars. You can start it manually, start hand picking it. During the day, you'll find these eggs and caterpillars on the underside of the leaves. And at night, you'll find these caterpillars on the top of the leaves. Now you're seeing the underside of the leaves and these are either moth or butterfly eggs. And as you can see, there are numerous eggs here. You can also notice some green caterpillars. Search the entire plant thoroughly and surely it is a time consuming method. Next is a liquid pesticide. For this, take 1 liter of water and add 1 teaspoon of any dishwash or liquid soap. And shake it well. Spray this pesticide once in a week. And the right time to use any pesticide is either early in the morning or during the evening so that the pollinators will not be affected. Here is another liquid pesticide. Take 1 liter of water and add 1 tablespoon of dishwash and 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil to it. Take 3 cloves of garlic and crush it finely. Add this into the solution and mix it well. Spray this pesticide once in a week. Next is neem oil. Take 1 liter of water and add 1 tablespoon of neem oil to it. Mix it well and use it twice a week. Don't forget to spray it on the underside of the leaves. Next is vinegar solution. For this, take 1 liter of water and add 1 tablespoon of vinegar to it. Don't spray this solution during the day or in the morning as vinegar when exposed to sunlight can burn the leaves. Next is eggshells. Crush it or powder it and spray it around the roots and on the leaves. This will reduce the eggs from hatching into caterpillars. Next is insect net. You can avoid insects entering into your garden by doing this. Next is natural predators. You can encourage birds to visit your garden by providing it grains and water. Birds naturally consume worms and eliminate it from your garden. If you like this idea, give a thumbs up to my video and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos.